I have a new video for you guys because Britney Spears' boyfriend, Sam Asghari, is speaking out against her father and he even called him the D word. It is getting intense and I just listened to some audio released from TMZ where he speaks further on James Spears and how he is tired of him. So we're going to walk through what Sam is saying and how he's standing up for Britney. So let's get into it. <music> If you guys didn't know, Britney Spears has been dating Sam Asghari for about five years now. He is actually only 26 or 27 years old, and he is an actor and a physical trainer, a fitness coach in Los Angeles. When it comes to Sam, we've been really unsure about where he stands on the movement. Like I said in my last video, he was liking a bunch of posts that were related to Free Britney, but does he actually stand for Free Britney? Well, I think we can confirm it now because he is speaking out against Britney's father and he went in. Let's go ahead and read it together. So he writes, Now it's important for people to understand that I have zero respect for someone trying to control our relationship. And constantly throwing obstacles our way. In my opinion, Jamie, her father, is a total D-word. I won't be going into details because I've always respected our privacy, but at the same time, I didn't come to this country not to be able to express my opinion and freedom. And then he puts a mic drop emoji right there just to top it off, which I think is incredible because he has been very quiet. I mean, in the videos we've talked about Sam before, we really only talked about his background, his past relationships. When it comes to the Free Britney movement, we've seen him like some posts here and there, but really he hasn't stood up against James at all. In the past, Sam has spoken about James in an article, but when he did bring up James, he claims that they had a great relationship. But I have a feeling that this conservatorship has thrown a wrench in that relationship. Like I said, TMZ just released audio of Sam talking about this like literally 50 minutes ago. So I'm going to play it. TMZ is really weird when it comes to like um, copyright, so I'm not going to throw it on the screen. Hopefully they'll let me play this, but pretty much someone is asking uh, Sam, as he's leaving the gym, like, what's going on? How do you feel about Brittany's father? Obviously, bringing up the Instagram is, post. Is there anything that he can do to repair the relationship? What would you like to be seen? I'm not upset at anybody, but you know what? It is what I said is what I said. So what he said is what I he said. Sick. That's just my opinion. And I'm not going to go into details. Uh, that's it, man. Can you guys ever be on good terms? I hope so. Once he yeah. starts treating his daughter right. Right. Period. Be on good terms. Now, now, a lot of fans are, are concerned with Britney after seeing the Hulu doc. Yeah. Thank you to all the fans. How's Britney doing? Is she okay? She's doing amazing. She's doing amazing. I'm always having her back. Thank you very much. Did, did, did I'm always having her back. I actually, like, that gives me goosebumps because I feel like I've wanted someone to be close to Britney and been rooting for her. And Sam really hasn't done much for the past five years. We cannot ignore that. But this is a huge step in the right direction. And the fact that he's publicly speaking about it makes me think that I don't know if there's an NDA there anymore. I don't know if there's protections. Um, I'm just really excited to think that he is actually on our side. And I don't know what else to say. I'm sure James is mad right now. Like, he must be fuming, hitting up Sam. I mean, especially after this audio, it's different when you see just, like, a story and writing. But now there's literal audio of him calling his, you know, girlfriend's dad a D-word. And the dad controls his girlfriend's life. So, I mean, it would be insane to see, like, what if, like, James just kicks him out and he's like, you're not allowed to see Britney anymore. Like, I'm pretty sure Britney's father has that ability to do that. He's, he can cut off Sam if he wanted to because he controls Britney's life. And the, I believe the persons and the financial and the estate and, you know, how they like to break it all down in that way. But Sam really doesn't have any power here besides the power he has to speak up for Britney. And I am so incredibly happy for him. And I hope he continues to do this. I hope it's not just like a little bump in the road because when we've seen like Britney's sister out here, she hasn't done anything anything for free Britney. She won't even utter the word. So the fact that he's liking things, speaking out against her father is just a huge win for the movement. So I'm really excited about that. They did mention the Hulu documentary and I did want to bring up the fact that Britney said supposedly to a source in page six that she's just fed up with the conservatorship and she actually didn't even watch the documentary at all. Honestly, I'm not even surprised because if it was me, I probably wouldn't want to watch it either because it's probably not great for the mental health and you know just 
<sighs> watching it all in front of you, we already know that she doesn't like the conservatorship. So I feel like it would just like solidify it for her, even though it's obviously still there. It's just like, it, it makes it so much more real when you see it on the screen. And that's why so many people are standing up for Free Britney right now. She did post this video on her Instagram where it seems like she's referring to the docuseries. But before we go to that, I want to check out this article where Sam actually spoke to People Magazine about his relationship with Britney Spears. This happened right after the Hulu docuseries. And I had a feeling that this was planned in advance. But let's go ahead and see what he has to say. He told People Magazine that I've always wanted nothing but the best for my better half and will continue to support her following her dreams and creating the future she wants and deserves. Yes, because I could see her like wanting to get married and maybe even having another kid. Like, I don't know. I just want her to live her best free life. Quote, I am thankful for all the love and support she is receiving from her fans all over the world. And I'm looking forward to a normal, amazing future together. A normal and amazing future. Like, that's exactly what she wants. It's just a normal and amazing future. So, please just give it to her. The rest of the article pretty much just walks through their past together. But I really enjoy those quotes because I feel like they're so meaningful. I do feel like he does see a future with Britney. And, you know, it's just a huge step from where we were like a few months ago where people were like oh Sam is the chef getting paid a hundred thousand dollars like I just feel like this is a great step in the right direction and I want to stay here and I want to hopefully continue talking about James and Sam will speak up a little bit more because I mean this is just the first time imagine if he just continues talking about it I do want to clarify something too that um I did say in my last video that Jamie Lynn and Brittany do not follow each other they do actually follow each other that's a correction that's me just listening to someone else tell me that and then I did not go and double check so I'm sorry about that there but let's go ahead and check out this Instagram post because it seems like she's referring to the docuseries when she's talking about the Super Bowl so let's go ahead and listen the moment we've all been waiting for last week. The Super Bowl! I was no. so excited, but honestly, I was rooting for Kansas City, but I was also rooting for the other team, so it was a little confusing for me. I love sharing. She said, I love sharing at the end, which I'm like, okay, hold up. We need to break this down because I feel like the beginning, she's like, I'm rooting for this team, but I'm also rooting for the other team. And she's talking about like rooting for her family still. Like she still loves her family, even though they have put her in a conservatorship, but she's mainly rooting for her own team. Also the little bit at the end where she's talking about sharing, like that just makes me think that she's talking about the documentary. And so many people are like, we know what you're referring to. We know what you're referring to here. It's obviously about the documentary. She also posted this on her page 17 hours ago where she writes she who leaves a trail of glitter is never forgotten and she leaves some ballerina shoes I believe as the emoji I honestly cannot tell what that is it looks like a potato that's been like cut to me <laughs> and then finally she posts this beautiful photo where she has three mangoes in the caption which is cute again but the photo itself doesn't really um I don't really take too much away from it. I mean, she, I haven't really seen this necklace, I don't think. Is that just, I don't know. I mean, other than that, she looks great and her hair looks good. So move along. Her Instagram page is popping. Let's make sure she hasn't posted anything because you guys know sometimes she'll be posting when I'm live or I'm filming. Um, okay, cool. So we're all good here. But yeah, guys, I'm just kind of in high spirits right now because I'm so happy to see that Sam's actually speaking out for his woman. Like, I'm hyped that he is fighting for her. And that's what we need right now for Brittany. But that's pretty much all I have for you guys. I mean, I, I, let me give you a quick legal update because there is some stuff going on. So, Lynn's mom did file this ex parte, which I don't even really know what that means. But pretty much, Lynn has been filing paperwork because she hired lawyers in Louisiana. And she wants them to be able to represent her in California. So, this paperwork that has been flying around, pretty much, it just states that Brittany's mother's lawyers are going to be present in the courtroom in California and they will be able to represent her even though they don't have their California bar license. So you guys know laws change in every state and pretty much this request is just asking that Lynn's lawyers are present in the California courtroom and they have a say even though they don't have a California license. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys, but I saw this floating around and I just wanted to clarify. If you guys want me to talk about what's going to be happening on Thursday um, at the courtroom, you know, Brittany has a hearing this Thursday, let me know because there are a few things going on involving Bessemer and hopefully I'm saying that right, Bessemer, Bessemer. <sighs> Anyways, the financial trust that will be taking over, hopefully be taking over Brittany's estate. 
Anyways, I wanted to open up a little bit of mail that I got from you guys. I just went to the PO box this morning and I got something that I wanted to open up on camera with you guys. And this is actually from Gretchen Suggs, who is in Florida. And she sent me this package with a bunch of like stickers on it, which I love. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. I'm so excited because of the pink part too. Um, and it looks like she goes by the name Sweetheart Silkies. Maybe that's her company. I'm not too sure. Um, so let's open this up. Oh no. <laughs> like, I don't know if I can get this one open. I need, ooh, okay, here we go. Some ASMR up in here. So it looks like she sent me this green little note right in here. Oh, okay. So she just put some extra packaging in it. That's cool. Um, and she has my address on here again with her address. Okay. Let's keep that private. This one will be a lot easier to open. Okay. Cool. Oh, wow. What is going on? So here is the card that she sent and there's something in here, but let me go ahead and read and see what it is. So she writes, Dear Sloan, I've been wanting to send you a note for some time. I just want to tell you that you always make me smile while watching your videos. I look forward to each one, your positive outlook, big heart, and overall caring nature. It makes a huge impact on your viewers. Oh, you're so kind. Never stop being you. I really appreciate that. And you write, Please put them around your home as reminders. Oh, are you talking about the notes? But I thought you may like some affirmation cards as they are all true about you. Please put them around your home as reminders. I also thought you could always use a little whoop Oh my gosh, in your quarter. Thank you, Gretchen. Oh, thank you so much, Gretchen. So the, I guess these are cards within this thing. Let me use my handy dandy tool on this part right here. I'm like so bad at opening these things and I don't want to rip them. Maybe I can just, oh yeah, just open them from the side. <gasps> okay, wait, okay. Oh no, okay. She really packages as well, Gretchen. You did that. You got a whole obstacle to get in here. I'm so excited. But really though, oh my gosh, girl. This is packaged really well. I know these cards are definitely safe in here, somewhere deep in here. Um, I'm so excited. They feel like legit cards too. So I'm like, wow, <gasps> yes. Oh my gosh, these are amazing. So she sent me a bunch of these cards. Oh, you are beautiful. Your smile makes my day better. You are a star. Oh my gosh, I was having such a rough day and this is so kind. And it looks like, oh, she had her own like company for it, Sweetheart Silkies. And she is the owner, Gretchen. Oh, that's her card right there. Hopefully you guys can see it. I put the information in the comments below. But all oh, these are so sweet. Thank you so much. I'm gonna hang some of these around and spread them around my apartment. Thank you so much, Gretchen, for sharing the love. And I really appreciate that. Like I said, today was not the best day for me. So that really warmed my heart. And I'm so thankful for all of you guys. So thank you so much. And I will see you guys in a new video soon. Bye guys.